Hello, this is David Ferguson with MLC CAD Systems. Uh, I'm going to be showing you one of the new enhancements they've made uh, to our dynamic toolpaths. This applies to our dynamic facing routine, uh, 2D high speed dynamic mill, and of course, 3D dynamic OptiRough. Uh, it is what they refer to as maximum engagement for a toolpath. So we're working on our project part here, and I'm, I'm using a, a dynamic mill to rough out some material. This is a similar toolpath to what I did earlier. I've simplified it a little bit for this example, just so there's no step downs, just so we can kind of clearly see where this gets applied and what it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit here on the top of the part, and I'm going to look at uh, a toolpath that is not using uh, my uh, maximum engagement uh, function. And what I want to kind of pay attention to is this uh, first couple passes I've got over here on the left hand side. Uh, this is where my toolpath begins. Uh, if I choose to back plot that, um, I'll turn off that holder so it's not quite so in the way. Uh, we'll even go ahead and turn on uh, our uh, simple verify so we can see where that toolpath is going. And I'm just going to sort of step that through that path. Okay, that went a little bit quicker than I expected. So let's try it a little bit slower there. Let me slow the speed down and we'll kind of watch that guy engage. There we go. So that first pass does sort of ease into that cut in the traditional way that dynamic mill does. Um, I start with almost no engagement on the material, and my initial chip load is going to be a little bit on the light side. Now, that's desirable, obviously, when I've got, uh, you know, a hard brittle material, cast material, something where I sort of need to ease into that cut a little bit. That's kind of the way dynamic mills traditionally worked. It, it starts off kind of soft and almost pedestrian, if you want to think about it. Um, using max engagement, um, which is a, an additional function on your cut parameters page of your dynamic toolpath. So again, face, 2D high speed dynamic mill, OptiRough, we'll find the max engagement button right there. And what that does, and what I've done here is, is just created another toolpath that's using that so we can sort of A, B between them, is it gets that toolpath started much closer to your initial step over, your desired step over, your desired chip load, pretty much from the very beginning. So it doesn't really ease into the cut in the way that uh, Dynamic Mill or OptiRough has in the past. It starts off sort of full, you know, full width, full radial engagement. I mean, it eases into it a little bit, but you get a much more aggressive start to that toolpath. And if I just sort of AB between those, you'll kind of see what I mean. This is a toolpath, again, not using maximum engagement, we can see we've we've actually are covering almost the same distance with two passes there. The second pass comes around and almost recuts that area we just sort of eased into to begin with. Again, lighter chip load there. And, and again, sometimes desirable. Uh, this is all about options. And then this is a toolpath using maximum engagement. You can see much more aggressive entry, um, not necessarily recutting sort of that initial uh, first couple inches of the pass with the second cut. Uh, I am right in there with my desired step over from sort of the drop of the hat. Um, and of course, back plotting that, I'm not sure what that's gonna show us, but we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at it and back plot anyway. It is a much more aggressive cut starting out. Um, and again, that is available on uh, dynamic face when you're using a uh, facing routine with a dynamic pass, uh, 2D high-speed dynamic mill, which I'm using it here, and of course, 3D uh, high-speed OptiRough. Um, all of those tool paths in 2024 now have that option for maximum engagement. Um, very, very cool. Thank you very much.